The love test consists of 36 questions that are supposed to accelerate intimacy between two strangers. I've got some intimacy what? with my honey going into my yogurt. The reason why I have this is because I can't wait to watch this next segment. I'm going to sit back and enjoy I know. with your yogurt, which you can do at home as well. I don't well. have yogurt. I have coffee. Some scientists say that this actually is possible. John Martin, with a little special <laughs> friend, is here now. Go ahead, guys. Are you going to fall in love in four seconds? Well, because we work together, and for the sake of time, we're <laughs> Awkward, going to yeah. yeah. We're going to we're going to expedite this. We're going to play. We're going to play along. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. No, but the yeah. actual the love test is officially called the experimental generation of interpersonal closeness. Scientific, but unlovely yes. name if there ever was one. See, in the 90s, American psychologist Arthur Aaron devised a lab test to see if strangers could be made to bond, even fall in love, in 45 to 90 minutes. Oh. The 36 questions in the study are broken up into three sets, which each set is intended to be more probing than the previous one. Sorry for that word. Mm. Mm. <laughs> uh, the love test recently regained popularity after being posted in the New York Times. So Sarah right. has volunteered to see, they, they did this in Vancouver uh, on the news the other day and it was, it was. We'll see if this is a good idea. <laughs> Do we we'll get any see. love music? Like, yeah, like we need love connection music. Or I know, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do we have Dating a love boat theme? Music there. Did we pay for the love boat theme? Is that a, <laughs> probably not. All right, yeah, so let's get right into well, anything it. will work. Number one, Sarah Ferguson, <laughs> given the choice of anyone in the world, whom would you want as a dinner guest? Okay, well, you guys know I always put up the trending videos. You guys know who I, I oh, love. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jimmy Fallon? Yeah. Yeah. Jimmy yeah. Fallon. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I would. And big, he's funny. Big time crush, right? I feel like he would be such a fun time to hang I out think so. with. And, you know, he's just like, he seems like a really down to earth guy. All right, so that's number one. Okay. Number two, so that me and Sarah can fall in love. Before <laughs> making a telephone call, do you ever rehearse? do you ever rehearse what you're going to say and why? Yes. I do because okay. So here's here's something that I'm surprising to me. I constantly rehearse. Okay, so if I'm gonna call my dad and I have an issue with my car, I'm always so scared to tell him like, hey, the check engine light came on. What do I do? <laughs> I always you, rehearse. You're afraid of getting in trouble. Yeah, I am. I'm like, he's gonna be mad. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't know so how to talk about cars. Do you I ever do. eat an apple while you're on the phone? I know Justin, you're, you, you you take do? the Costanza where you eat the apple. What is that from? What? what? An eat apple. the apple? Costanza. He'd always eat the apple. Enough oh, yeah, the okay, apple. yeah, 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 yeah. So that makes you seem more relaxed. So maybe you right. should try to do some. By yeah, the way. Guys, plus, I don't really eat apples, so maybe that'd be good. Blew the to transmission. Do that. Number I don't see how this is going to make you fall in love. No, okay, we're, we're getting there. Sarah, what would you constitute a perfect day for you? Mm -hmm. Lots of Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> yeah. Netflix. That's one. That's one. Um, a lot of chocolate. I need. I love truffles, so I would eat a lot of those. Ooh. And I really like beef jerky. I know that's weird, <laughs> but every truffles day before beef jerky. That's okay. so hot. every day before I come before work, I get some beef jerky, and I'll, I'll, it'll kickstart my day. I don't know. And then I'll watch The Notebook, obviously. Obvious. Wow. Okay. Obvious. That in a hike. What a little hike. Sarah. Throw yeah, that in. I know. The, the thing about this is, there's guys actually sitting at home going, "Okay, huh? so <laughs> truffles." <laughs> Beef like jerky that. and the notebook. All right, number four of the 36 questions that make you fall in love in four minutes or less. When did you last sing to yourself or to someone else? <laughs> okay. I think uh, I heard her singing the other day. This morning, actually. I, I sing in I the heard. booth, actually, back there with Brock and them. I serenade them all the time, honestly. So, no, but this morning I sang a lot. Um, I actually sang to Sam Smith. Stay with me. I, sang I don't like that song. That's like, I that, guy's, it. that guy's so sad. I like I'm, that I'm slowly. Okay, last question. The time is up of the 36 <laughs> questions that make you fall in love. That's, That's the last one. The 36. Here, here, because <laughs> we can't fall in love, we work together. Yeah. Number right. five. If you were able to live to the age of 90 and retain either the mind or body of a 30 year old for the last 60 years of your life, which would you want? The mind. Because. I mean, I feel like it's like a part of life. You have to go through it at some time or another. And if I, I want to keep my mind. I want to be able to, you know, keep my memories with my family and my friends. Good answer. Yeah. I be able to talk. I mean, my yogurt, so I'm keeping my body. See, I go the other way because this is what I look <laughs> like at 30, and it's not great. <laughs> but I would rather stay this way because I don't think I've learned enough. Are you supposed to like be at your peak at 25, though? I well, like I'm already on the downhill for that. Woo, I, I passed say, out. Woo. Yeah, that is. Okay. If, if that was the best years of my life, right. I'm. I'm Mm -hmm. All right, I think, are we Wrap done with that? How much time do we have? I, yeah. I, I, oh, okay. she's wrapping up. All right, so those are.
part of the 36 <laughs> questions that uh, scientists believe will make you fall in love in four minutes or less. Cool. Later, we'll see if Mike Byram has any interest in oh, no. playing oh. this game. If you can get him to play, that would be, be this will be good television. Because that would be good television. I, we want to, yeah, we want to see what Mike Byram. Our replacement meteorologist. To fall in love. All right. Yeah. All right. Thanks, guys.